So today we're going to be drawing this panda. I'm going to show you the process of sketching everything out with basic shapes first, and then going all the way to uh, the final drawing. I'm going to start with a light blue pencil. And I'm using Photoshop to draw right now, but you can use a pencil and a real piece of paper. And after drawing it, you can do watercolors and paint on top of it if you like. But we're just going to do all the basic shapes of drawing. Okay, so I'm going to grab my pencil here. And I'm going to make this... Um, so the basic shapes, I'm just going to draw the basic shapes here. Basic shape is... Basic shape is rectangle, circle, triangle, and cylinder, okay? So with these four basic shapes, you can pretty much uh, draw anything um, that you like. So the first thing we're gonna draw, um, the, the first thing we draw is the, the tree first, just to get it. And then you're gonna have your paper um, portrait style, meaning that paper is like uh, standing upwards. You, first thing I, I'll sketch out is where the tree trunk is. Okay, when, you, when we're sketching, that line doesn't need to be perfect um, as long as you, we're just finding out where the basic shape is. Uh, when you're sketching with a pencil, just sketch very lightly. Next, I'll find out where all the other tree branches are. So I'll look at this branch over here, and then I'll just sketch that shape right over here. When I'm sketching this shape, I'm also looking at things such as negative space. Negative space means um, this object over here, which, which is nothing over here. So when, when you're drawing, try not to always just look at the shape of the object. Also look at the shape of the negative space. Okay. Okay. We're going to go in here and continue with some of the other tree branches. There's a tree branch right here. We look at this branch. We know that branch belongs right here. When we're drawing that branch, uh, we're also looking at angles. The angles is going this direction, okay? So you may be drawing that branch this direction or this direction, it's, it's not correct. Just make sure you're following the same angle. So in this case, I would draw a cylinder or a stick. Okay, we're gonna continue doing that, finding the different location of each um, uh, like tree branch here. So I look at the angle here. You see this angle? I use this point to find that angle. I'll use this point to create that same angle. And then I know that this tree branch goes up this way, okay? So not only are you looking at angles of each uh, object, you're looking at angles of location of where to place uh, your drawings, okay? With this panda, we have a tree branch over here, okay? We're not gonna draw that tree branch. We're gonna eliminate that branch and just assume that the panda is climbing um, on this tree without that branch there, um, just to make the art look a little bit better, okay? I'm going to, let's see, zoom in a little bit. So we have more areas to look at. Let me go in here. There we go. Okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna go draw a little bit more branch. Next thing I'm gonna draw is the shape of the panda bear, the object. So right away, I look through, I imagine that tree is not gonna be there. I look at the whole object uh, right here. This, to me, this is a long rectangle right there. Okay, I'm going to fit that rectangle within that tree, and then I'm going to keep that same angle, okay, right here. Just fit that in here. This is for placement, okay? Once you have your placement correct, then when you start drawing um, the other parts of the panda, everything will fall into place, okay? I'm going to leave this rectangle shape here, so you, you can all see. Next thing I'll sketch is this arm right over here. Okay, I'll see that as almost like a triangle. You guys see that triangle over here? So right here, I'll place that triangle right over here. Okay, that's where the panda's arm. I'm gonna move this a little bit higher. Okay, after that, I'll look at where the head is. So here's a triangle for the arm. The head is a circle. Okay, I'm just gonna place that circle right over here. Okay, I'll use my initial larger sketch to place, um, to make sure I place the basic shapes in the right place. Okay, here's the ear. I look at where this ear is in relation to where this rectangle and where the circle is. That ear belongs right over here. And then the other ear, we look at where that ear is. Here's the center of the circle, center of the circle. We look at the angle. We have that circle right over there, okay? 
if anything, uh, when you take my classes, I want you all to be able to see basic shapes as well as see things in different angles. Okay. It will help you draw everything more in proportion. Okay. I'm going to look at, you see this paw here. I'm just going to place the circle there. But before I draw that circle here, I'm going to do some measuring, measuring with my eyes. I'm going to look at where the center of the nose is to where the center of that circle. You see that line that I just created? I'm going to make sure I follow that same angle. This is going to help me for placement. Okay. That angle is not going to be like that. It's not going to be like this. We want that to be parallel. Parallel means two lines that are going the same direction. And then from here, I would then sketch that oval. Okay, here's the oval for the paw. Okay, right here automatically, I know that that paw is higher than the ear. I'll double check my measurements, higher than the ear. And then the bottom paw uh, goes to right over here. Okay, after I have that, then I'll place that rectangle, that curved rectangle right over here. Okay. Again, if you're drawing in pencil, draw very, very lightly, almost to the point where you can't see the drawing, so you don't have to do erasing. Um, I'm using Photoshop, so I'm just going to erase lines that we don't need so we can all see everything better. Um, if you need to see this again in the future, um, um, you can always like rewind the video later and look at it. Okay, now I'm going to continue looking at all the other shapes uh, right here. We have the pandas, looks like, looks like this is the panda's tail. Okay, that circle belongs right over here. I'm just gonna place that circle right there. Okay, I'm gonna separate the tummy from where the panda's uh, knee is. This is the panda's knee and the knee's like it's bent that way, it's climbing up. So that knee, uh, the tummy is right over here. Okay, actually, let me go back. Uh, we have this rectangle here. This is the bottom part of uh, the, um, the arm, so we're gonna shape, place that shape right over here. And then the tummy, this angle, right towards here, we're gonna keep, keep that same angle. So right now, we're still not drawing. We're still just doing every, placing everything in the right place, okay? We look at this shape, okay? We're gonna place that shape exactly right over there, okay? One shape at a time. On top of that, we also have the foot over here. I'm going to erase all this object here so we can see the foot a little bit better. That foot here is an oval. We're going to place that oval right over here. Okay. I'm going to erase lines that we don't need so we can see everything a little bit better. Erase this line, erase, erase this line. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the other side of the leg. Okay. Uh, the leg and the body. So there's this body here within that rectangle shape. Here's my rectangle shape. We're going to place that line here. And then the bottom of the, the panda's left leg goes here. That is right here. And then we're going to create that arch right there. OK? OK, I'm going to get rid of all this now that we have all the measurements uh, placed in. Erase all of these. Um, measuring lines from the reference photo. Okay. And then we're going to continue on here. We're going to place where the snout is. The snout, this circle is right here compared to that larger circle. So we know where the larger circle is right here. We're just going to place that smaller circle right over here. Okay. Within that circle, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can all see better. Within that circle, we have the nose, which is an upside down triangle. Upside down triangle. Okay. That upside down triangle goes right over here. Okay. Right next to the nose, we have two circles. This is the two circles. We're just going to place those circles right over here. Stay within that larger circle. Okay. And then the eyes, we're just going to place those ovals right over here. Those ovals belongs here. That's splotch, that big area. And then the eyes, we're just going to place that. Does it have to be neat? You're, you're, right now, you're just still figuring uh, placement out. OK, I'm going to move over to this paw because there's a lot of details on this paw. I'm going to erase this. OK, so that's my large circle oval for the paw. I'm going to start breaking up the paw. A lot of times when people are drawing hands and feet or like 
things like this is really hard for them. But when you break things down into all the basic shapes, everything is much, much easier. So right here, here's my larger oval. Here's my larger oval on the reference photo. I'm going to separate this. Okay. So I'm just going to separate this. Okay. After separating it, you have a circle here and a circle here. Okay, I'm just going to place those circles here. I don't place a big circle here and a small circle here. I try to keep things in proportion. So that smaller circle is here. And then you have the larger circle right here. Next thing, next thing we're going to do is we're going to find all these uh, paw or fingers or whatever you like to call them. We're going to find out where the center is. The center is right here. We're going to find the center. Okay, and then you're going to find the center again. Okay, just break it up so your measurements will be easier. I'm using this as a guide to measure everything. So once you have that, you have one circle, second, third, fourth, and then fifth. Okay, I'll do that again. We have those measuring lines that we separated from the center and then the, the a quarter on this side and the quarter on that side. Then we'll find out where the circle is. We're gonna place that circle right over here. Okay. Right here, you'll find out where this circle is and place it right over there. Okay, same goes for this side, this side, and then this side. This is the best way to do, make sure everything's in the right place. Okay, and then I'm going to erase this so we all can see. When you're sketching and you look at reference, usually when I'm drawing, um, I'm looking at reference and everything that I'm marking up on this side is what's happening in my brain. And then when I'm drawing it, I'm drawing this out. I don't really do all this in my brain. Okay, I, I'm just like I see it in my head, but then I'm I'm doing the measurements and drawing over here. So I have all that. Okay, we also have a tree branch here. We're gonna eliminate this tree branch. Okay, we're not gonna keep this branch. We're not gonna keep this branch just to make the artwork a little bit better. Now uh, let me explain why I don't want to keep that branch. Uh, that tree branch here. When you do start to draw, it just creates a tangent with the head. We don't want tangents when we're doing artwork. Um, it's okay to look at reference photo, but don't always copy like photos exactly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw that tree branch like this and then eliminate that part. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom back a little bit so we can see the rest of the panda, the sketch. Okay, so right now we can tell that it's kind of hard to see where the hand is over here. Like this arm here, but looking at regular human anatomy, you can kind of tell that the arm kind of folds this way. Okay, even though on this reference photo, you can't see it. Let's take a look. Yeah, you can't see because it it's all black, but we're still going to draw it as if we do see it. So I'm going to add an oval right over here. Okay, over right there. Okay, looks like we have everything. Now, the next step after I have all this, I'm going to do what I call tightening up the sketch. So if you draw, if you're heavy handed and you draw really dark, this is the time when you're going to grab an eraser or a needy eraser. A needy eraser is one of these eraser where it's uh, like flexible like this, or just grab a really great eraser and kind of score over your pencil drawing just to erase it to make it a little bit lighter. Okay, so I'll, I'll do that and make it very light just where I see everything, okay? And then in Photoshop, I'm just going to lock this and go to my Titan sketch. Titan sketch is what I'm still sketching, but I'm sketching a little bit more in detail, but I'm not drawing it. I'm going to use a different color for when I'm tightening up the sketch. Okay, so here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see a little better. I'll start off with the face. Okay, I'm going to zoom. Okay, so right here, I know where the nose is because I already placed it. So I'm just going to continue sketching but I'll look at all the curves and details, okay? Okay, we have the snout over here. Even though that tree trunk is blocking our way, we can see, we can imagine how that's gonna look. So here's the mouth like this, okay? Next, I'm gonna uh, sketch where the black part of the eye is. Okay, black part of the eye is here. There's a round part here, this one goes up here. And then on the other side, same with the other side, I contour these around the snout over here. Okay, so right here, there's a round part here and here. Okay, and then the eye is going to be right here. Again, we're not drawing, we're only tightening up the sketch to make sure everything's in the right place. Okay, top of the head, uh, we're going to sketch uh, the ears. 
I look at all the curves of the ear, you know, sketch that in. And then we have top of the head, there's a little dent over here. So we're also going to create that dent. Make sure, make sure you're not drawing like a, like a toy teddy bear, but instead you draw something that looks more real. Okay, right here, look at the curve. See that curve? Okay, we want to create that same curve. Okay, by sketching. You can sketch as many lines as you want, as little lines as you want. Okay, tree trunk, I'm just going to sketch that all the way. Okay, now next thing, I'm going to sketch, uh, tighten the sketch of the arm, the hand over here. We're going to look at this arm, look at all the curves and the bumps, this, and then we have this part going here. Okay, we have a little bit of the neck right there. Okay, and then now we have the tree branch over here. We draw that tree branch. And then now the body. Okay, we're gonna continue with the body, that body line right here that comes in over here. So that line goes from here, come around right to there. Okay, don't worry about the fur yet. Don't worry about uh, all the other details. That comes later. Okay, you're still uh, tightening up the sketch. There's this white part and then there's this triangle part. So that white part is here and then this part, it looks like a diaper, okay? I'm gonna erase this part that we don't need. Look at the curves, there's a curve. Once I get down to there, there's a little bump right here. So I'm gonna go here and create that little bump right over here, okay? Okay, next, the feet. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in closer to the feet so we can see everything in more detail, okay? We're gonna find that curve like this. Then we're going to look at the feet. So the feet, um, it's kind of blurry. I'm just going to assume that there's like five toes. And then we'll just create one arch. That's one, two, very close, three. You're just repeating this part, four, and then five. Okay. And then you just put the paws, the claws, like right over there. Okay. And then here's the panda's tail. Okay, we look at the shape, create that here, and then we have the tree branch. Okay, I'm not too concerned with how the tree branch looks because we're focusing on the panda. Okay, we look at this space here and then this space here. We're going to sketch all that in the right place. We look at where this touches the tree branch and we're going to create the same measurements. Okay. Now that we have uh, all of that, we're gonna sketch the rest of the tree out because the tree is in the foreground, everything else is in the background. I wanna get all of that uh, out of the way. <coughs> so just like I mentioned, we eliminate this, we're also going to eliminate this because that doesn't look good for the artwork. Okay, so we're just gonna have that branch go all the way down here, but I'll keep this tree branch right here. Okay, I'll continue sketching the side of the branch. There's a little, node right there. So we're going to create that node all the way down to here. There's another bump right here. We just create that there. Okay. Now we're going to go in here and draw this arm. This arm goes here. Okay. We don't see that because we're, we eliminate that branch and then this arm goes right here. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to do this tummy. We're gonna look at the curves, comes out, goes in, comes out, goes in, comes out, goes down, okay? We're gonna do the same thing, okay? We're gonna follow what we sketched originally. We're gonna stay within, uh, use that guide and do the same thing. Comes out, goes in, comes out, goes in. Okay, draw, sketch as many lines as you need. And then this one comes right around. Okay, and I'm gonna separate where the white part is from the black part. So that goes here. And then there's another black part that's up here. We're just gonna place that right over here. Okay. Now, after we have all that, we're gonna work on the hands. Okay. This time we're gonna be a little bit more detailed on the sketching. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Now, if you're a little bit behind, again, you can always go back on the video, rewind it, and then kind of see it. Let me just go here. So the hand, we're gonna, let me zoom in a little bit more so we can see bigger. So again, look at the curves, okay? Put, make sure all those are in the right place. So for his, uh, his arm, follow this curve, follow those bumps, okay? Sometimes when you're 
doing your initial sketch, it may be off. And then when you're tightening up the sketch, you can catch some of your mistakes and redraw it. Okay, so we still have that line that separates. We have this palm of the hand. This is the, the heel of the hand. Okay, and then the pads, the pads of the hand. We're just gonna place all those pads in here. And then the, the nails. Okay, so now we have pretty much um, this, it, the, you know, the Titan sketch of that. I'm going to remove that line, remove my initial sketch. Uh, feel free to go back in there and then clean up some of your lines a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go in there and clean up some of my lines. Okay, at this stage, um, I'm going to separate the ear from the head. At this stage, uh, if your pencil or too dark because some of you are heavy handed, uh, draw like drawing uh, with pencil, you're heavy handed. Just go in there and get an eraser and then kind of erase it and lighten it. Okay, now, uh, next step uh, I'll do is I'll draw it. When I draw, this is when I draw a darker line on top of everything. Okay, my initial sketch is here, my Titan sketch is here. So I'm going to zoom in and I'll start drawing the face first. Okay, I'm going to zoom in so we can see the face a little bit better. Now I'm going to start drawing the face. Okay, no more sketch lines at this point. Uh, sketching is done. You're going to draw a real, real like hard line and be as accurate as you can. Okay, you continue looking at your reference photo and then you continue drawing. You don't sketch, you don't trace what you sketch. Okay, you're going to be look at the reference photo and then make sure you're going to be drawing everything in the right place. Draw some fur over here. And then some fur over there. Okay, I'm just gonna when I'm drawing fur, I look at the direction that the fur is growing, and I'll draw those fur accordingly. Okay, so on on the side of this head over here, I look at what direction these things are growing, and I follow that direction. Okay, so the fur goes like this. So when I'm drawing fur, is almost like drawing grass. Like for example, you're drawing grass going this way. It's very random. So I'm gonna go here and draw that. Okay, I'm gonna go over here and just go on this side, follow the direction. Make sure you're pointing at the right direction. So I'm gonna go a little bit quicker. You can add as much as you want, some long ones, uh, some short ones, some closer together, some further apart like that. Okay, I'm gonna go in here. Don't worry about which is the white part yet and which is the black part yet. We're just gonna create some of these lines to separate um, um, you know, the white part and the black part. Okay, so here's here's this part. Follow the direction of the fur. We'll go a little bit quicker. Okay, and here's the shoulder, bottom of the shoulder. I'm gonna go a little bit quicker. Again, you can add as much as you want. Sometimes I'm imagining myself drawing grass. Now, this is important. When you're doing this part, try not to overlap your lines. Um, try not to crisscross. When I say crisscross, this is what not to do. Okay, don't do any of that. Okay, I like keeping all my lines um, not crisscrossing uh, as best as I can. They look like they're crisscrossing, but they're just pointing in different directions. Okay, you go back a little bit more. So we're going to continue with the ear. Going different directions. Uh, some lines longer, some lines shorter. Like this. Okay. And then also with the eye, um, the eyes, uh, the black part, I'm going to sketch some of those lines. Directional lines, very important. From when we get to the sp spout part, this one goes in this side, this one points this side. And then here, we're going to have this one go around here. Okay. And here's this eye. Okay, just press down a little bit darker on top of your initial Titan sketch. We sketch this one. Okay, now the pan, I'm going to draw those lines darker. Here, we draw this line. Okay, we're going to draw this hand here. Draw some fur. Draw some fur on the outside. Like this, and then draw some fur on the outside over here. Okay, we're gonna draw those 
ovals with a point on the top. Like this, draw those ovals. And then I'll draw those little nails right on top there. After I draw those sections, I'm gonna go and draw more fur on top. The fur surrounds the claws. Okay, right over here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna continue drawing uh, the rest of the fur on the left side of the, this side of the body right here. Again, follow, always look, when I'm drawing, my eyes are constantly looking at the rest of the photo to make sure I'm going the right direction. Okay, and then this one goes towards the tummy, this area. We have that initial sketch line, so we know where it is. Okay, we have some of this fur here. Gonna zoom back a little bit. Okay, now the leg, we continue drawing some of those lines. There we go. And then some fur over here. And I'm gonna take a quick look at the paw. Okay, there's a little bit of fur, but those fur is not as um, long. So just add a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna draw the paw. One, two, looks like there's a cluster of them together. And then this one goes around. And then the bottom of the feet. Okay, we have the tail over here. Follow the direction that, that the fur is growing. Okay, and then we have the leg. Okay, so this part, um, fairly easy, not too hard, just follow the direction. Okay, very important that you follow the direction. Okay, I'm gonna go and draw the tree uh, trunk. Okay, I'm gonna draw that line from here. The tree trunk, it's okay if you have a, a little bit of wavy line or it's not a straight line. That, that's okay. What I like to do is I like to draw like some lines kind of overlapping like this, just to make it look a little bit nicer. Okay. Okay. We have a tree trunk over here. Draw that, create some bumps. Okay. We have, this one goes all the way behind the tail. And then we have the bottom of the tree trunk here, like this. We have this goes around here. And then the other side of the tree trunk, that little node, this comes up to here, a little dent like that. Okay. Next, I'll draw the rest of the fur of the panda. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in closer. Okay, uh, we don't see what's here because we eliminated that uh, tree branch over here, but we look at the other side, we'll draw the fur on that side first. So all of this, there's longer fur on this side. And then here, I'll just like, um, like draw in different directions. Try I'll try not to crisscross like this. And then on the other side, I'll, I'll, I'll automatically know based on how these, these are going this way. I know that the other side is going to be going this way. Okay. Okay. The rest of the panda stomach here. I'm going to separate the black part. There's longer lines here. And then I'll continue that to the white side. And then on the bottom here, these, these fur is a little bit longer. And then we're gonna come to the lake. Now, when we look at the lake, uh, we notice that this line is going this way, this goes this way, this goes this way. Actually, let me take a look. This goes this way, this. So we're gonna follow that direction. I, I'll leave those lines there so we know what direction to go. So this one goes this way, this one goes this way the fur, okay? Actually, these wings are going that way. So when I draw those lines, make sure you follow that same direction. This, this one's actually going this, this side. Okay, so now we have the majority. I'm gonna go in there and kind of put where the eyes belong. I'm gonna zoom in and just Try to draw a little circle on the eye. Okay, draw it on the other side of the eye. I'm just gonna draw it as a circle. And then I'm gonna draw a smaller circle. Actually, I'm gonna take the back. Instead of a circle, it almost looks like a almost looks like a human eye. So instead of a circle, we're gonna draw that more like a football, more like an oval. Okay. We draw that oval like this. 
Now, after we draw the oval, we're going to draw the pupil inside. We're going to draw a circle inside. Okay, right here. When we draw the circle, we look at how much white space is on the left and right. We kind of keep that white space. Okay, there's a sheen on the eye. Every time I draw eyes, I always like to draw a sheen. I just fill the rest of it in black. Okay, so right here, I'll draw a little part here, fill the rest in black. Okay, draw a line right here in the middle. I'm going to zoom back. Okay, now the, most of my drawing is pretty much done, outline of everything. I'm going to go in here and draw the side of this face here. This is the inside line, and there's some of this. Okay, so now that we have everything, I'm going to remove my Titan sketch. You can use your eraser or you need the eraser and kind of like glide over and erase uh, some of the lighter sketches. If you draw darker, um, when you erase slightly, that darker line will still stay there. Okay, so I get rid of that. Yeah, that's my drawing. Now, before I draw everything else, I'm going to start doing some shading first. Okay, so I'll come back and I'll do the shading later. I mean, I'll start doing the drawing later. So with the shading, I'll use the side of my pencil. I'm going to find a, a tone. I'm going to move, let's see, a light tone, maybe this gray. OK. Let me use black over here, black. And then I'm going to move this down here. And then I'm going to control how much grays I have, okay, with test the gray, okay, so right here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start shading, the ears, I'm just going to use the side of my pencil, and just make that really dark, okay, like this, and then the eye, Okay, I'm going to separate all the black areas from all the white areas. By use, you just use the side of your pencil and just create one tone. Don't worry about uh, blending, uh, blending um, colors or gray areas. Just go in there and separate. Okay, so we have this arm on this side. If it goes outside the line a little bit, that's okay. You can always go back in add more fur or like touch it up and erase around it. Okay, we have some some grays around here. I mean, blacks here. So I'm just gonna add all the black areas first. Okay, this leg is also black. I'm gonna create that black here. And then right over here and on this side this leg here. So use the side of your pencil and just sketch really quickly. If it's not dark enough, like for me, it's, it's, it's not dark. I'm just gonna make it a little bit darker. I'm gonna go in here and increase my dark colors. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back one more time. I'm just darken up areas that I want to go darker. So around the eye. Just gonna make it a little bit darker. Okay. Um, use your pencil, use the side of your pencil. Try, uh, when I'm doing shading, rarely do I use the tip of my pencil. Uh, if I use the tip of the pencil, um, it just makes it more dark. When I use the side of the pencil, it just, it just creates um, more shadow a little bit better. Okay, so when I'm holding the side of the pencil, I'm actually holding the pencil like this and I'm shading. Like that, uh, I don't. I don't really shade like that. I, I like using the side of the pencil like this. Okay, we're going there and continue just to make the rest of the panda a little bit darker. Okay, and then you can make it as dark as you like. I'm not going to make it too dark because I still want to add some more details to the panda later. So I'm just gonna darken up here a little bit darker. Okay. Move this higher, just darken up here. Okay. 
as long as you have like a, a nice consistent shade, uh, it, it'll, look, it'll look nice like that. Okay. After that, I'm going to start focusing on some of the white areas of the panda. Okay. We have all the black. Oh, we, have, we need this area black too. Okay, now we have all the uh, the dark areas. I'm going to focus on some of the lighter areas. I'm still going to use a pencil. Uh, I'm just going to, instead of pressing down that hard with my pencil, I'm just going to go a little bit lighter. Okay, so I can focus on some of the gray areas, like underneath the neck and the head area. So here's a little bit of grays over here that I'm using the pencil. Add that here, a little bit on the eye. Let me zoom in closer. There we go. Okay, zoom in closer so we can see the grays. So we have some grays over here. Okay, I'm gonna look at all the areas that has a little bit of gray. I use my the side of the pencil and just add a very light gray. Uh, all grays on the bottom of the paw. Okay, a little bit of grays here. I'm gonna look at the stomach area. Some grays here, just a little bit darker. Some grays here. Okay, the tail. Here and then the stomach. The lightest part of the stomach, the light source is coming from this direction. Because it's brighter here and it's gray here. So I'm going to create some grays here. Like that. And then underneath the chin, it looks like a little bit darker. So I'm just add more shadows. So any areas that I'm looking at that's white, that has a little bit of a shadow, I look at what's the whitest side and where's, where's uh, a little bit of grace and I'll add some uh, pencil lead on it. Okay. Again, I'm using the side of my pencil. That way, later on, when I start smudging with a Q-tip or a smudger or your finger, uh, you can smudge a little bit better. Uh, the smudging will work out a little bit nicer. Okay. So I'm going to add a little more grays here. Okay. So now I'm going to go in there and let me extend this a little bit larger. Okay. So more grays on the paw of the hand. That okay. Now I'm going to take the smudger in Photoshop. I, there's actually a finger here called the smudge tool, but again, you usually use a q tip, a uh, pencil smudger, or your finger, and then just go in here and just soften up those lines. Okay, how much strength you press into it is how much uh, your how much pressure you're pressing down with the q tip. Okay, you go in here and just soften up the lines. What I would do is I usually soften up the outside of the line, I don't focus on smudging the inside of um, the area. For example, like this dark area, I leave that alone. I'm only smudging the edge, okay? Because we want that to blend a little bit uh, nicer, okay? So right here, I'll blend a little bit. See these lines over here that we created with the pencil? So I'll just take my smudger, I'll focus on where the line is and I'll smudge it. That line right over here, take your smudger and on your pencil, just smudge it, okay? You can go back like smudge a lot of times, just to soften it up. Sometimes it takes a few times going over to soften it up. Okay, I'm gonna go here, smudge, smudge here. Now, when you're using a smudger, your smudger is gonna naturally have, pick up some of the grays uh, from, from your drawing. Um, so for example, um, some of the white areas, instead of adding more pencil, you just use your dirty smudger and kind of smudge those areas. I'm gonna smudge the rest of the face to make it nice and nice and soft. Now I'm having you guys smudge first and then add final details later. Okay, final details is when we're adding a feather, of like feathering and line work. We're also gonna do some shading on the, the tree over here. I'm gonna make the tree a little bit darker. Okay, so we're gonna look at the tree. We'll look at over all the darkest areas first. So right here, here's a little dark area. I'm just gonna place that there first on the bottom of the tree branches, a little bit darker. And if I need certain areas to be even more darker, I'll just go back with the side of my pencil and just go back a few more times. Okay, so I'll do this really quickly because the tree is not really that important for me to get really in that much into detail. And then I'll take my smudger and I'll quickly soften up the sides of that tree. Any areas that has a straight heavy line, I'll just go back in there and I'll smudge it. Okay. 
you can go as quick as you want, you can go slowly, uh, whichever you're more comfortable with. Okay, just soften up the edge of those uh, smudge lines. Okay, so now we have all the gray tones. After the gray tones, I'll go back and I'll do the final details, uh, whatever I need to add on top of it. Okay, so here I'm gonna lock my shading and I'm gonna go to final details. Final details is when I draw back on top and I'll add uh, more details. Okay, make my pencil lines really dark. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna increase the size of the screen. Go in here. Okay. So on some of the black area, I know it's black. Uh, I purposely didn't make my drawing black so I can add more fur lines in between. Okay, just got a little bit more around here. That those ones are a little bit too thick. Okay. Just add a few more lines in between, like some lines over here. If you like, you can you can just make the panda like really dark, and then not worry about these lines. I, I when I create artwork, I like adding as much details as I can to the art. And I think it just looks nice with the details. So I'm gonna add a few more lines here. Uh, some of the white areas of the chin. Okay, I'll add some more fur lines in between. Okay, follow the direction. Directional lines are very important. Okay, uh, around, around the snout. Okay, so around the eyes a little bit up here. Okay, uh, also around the fur over here. We're just gonna keep adding those lines. Okay, on uh, the leg, some on the inside. Follow the same direction that, that the outside went. Just add a few more. Some of these white lines here, we're gonna add some white fur, some long one, some thin lines following that same direction. These are more like uh, stippling over here, but smaller lines. Okay, the tail, we're gonna follow the growth of the fur. Same with the side. Okay, we're gonna look at the rest. Okay, I'm also gonna add some more fur lines to separate the black side of this leg here. And some more on in between here. And at this stage, I'm just going, I know the direction that it's going, I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Okay. And if I wanted to darken it, I can always go back with the side of my pencil and just darken up some more. But at this time, don't, don't blend anymore, okay? Because if you blend on top of these lines that you've done, there's a good chance that your lines will start disappearing. Okay, add some more fur lines over here. Okay, we're just gonna keep adding a few more. Okay, now on the tree trunk, uh, we're just gonna add a little bit of texture. There's some uh, darker spots over here. We're just gonna add that here, some darker spots here. Okay, start, here's a little eye over here, here's one here. And then we're just gonna draw these lines on top of the tree trunk. Random lines, you can look at the reference photo and draw them. Don't draw them straight, straight is wrong. I try to break up those lines. I don't try to draw one wiggly line all the way across. I'll break up the line like this. Okay, so I'll have some going this way. There's a little bit here that goes this way. Just add a little bit of texture inside, okay? There's a little crack over here. And then you're just gonna keep adding it. Re go around the tree over here, uh, around this bark here. Uh, you can make some lines thicker, the side of the tree a little bit thicker, the this side of the tree thicker here. Okay. And then now um, that's that's the drawing of the panda. I'm just gonna so all the so all everything I've done uh, for this drawing, what I did was um, I took the reference photo and then I'll sketch it. Okay, we're gonna I'm gonna show everyone here. I took the reference photo and then I'll sketch it. After sketching it, I'll tighten up the sketch like this. After tightening up the sketch, I'll draw on top of it. After drawing, I'll shade it. After shading, I'll add final details. 
So these, these are all the steps. And then the final artwork will look like, like this. Uh, where's the drawing? Like that, find this layer. If you want it to be darker, you can always go in there and um, darken up some of the really black areas. Okay, I'm just gonna use, um, on Photoshop, I'm just gonna use my burn tool. I'm gonna burn, burn this area to make it a little bit darker. Make the nose a little bit darker, make this a little bit darker. And then and for you guys to do this, you can always go back in there and darken it up. So that's the drawing of the panda. So I hope you enjoyed today's lesson on how I approach drawing a panda, all the different steps and the process. Now, um, there you have it, the panda. <laughs> <laughs>